got a lot of testimony. My mom would kick my butt if I tell it. But I'm going to tell it anyway. It's a little chilly here. Let me put a, my hat on. Now, again, back in 1996, right? I got saved. When, when I got saved, um, there was an excitement in me to want to reach everybody else. So now I gather the family and um, I'm ready to share the word with them. I remember it was my mother and my two sisters and my little brother. So sat down, opened up the Bible, ready to share God's word. I could hear my family in the background as I um, um, turned through the scripture looking for what I was going to speak on. I could hear them saying, you think you're preaching now? He think he knows God's word. What he's trying to do, start a church? But I'm ignored because I'm excited. You know, I get to share God's word. Now I'm looking through the scriptures. I hardly could have read that well then. I don't, um, I'm trying to figure out where Genesis is. I think at that time, Genesis and Revelation was the hardest book to find. But I'm trying to turn and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they started to get up one by one. <laughs> like, I want to hear him. He can't even take out the garbage and he want to preach to us. He don't, even, he don't even listen. It's like they all got up. I said, what? Shouldn't, shouldn't they try to encourage me? I'm trying to teach God's word and, and I'm excited about it. I'm saved now. And they got up because I, did, I didn't take out the garbage. And I'm a bit, no, I've really been a, a stubborn and an unruly and a name it. I was it. So, um, so what happened, I went in the room, my bedroom, and I sat on the bed. I was just so, I was so disturbed, heartbroken. I thought my friends already kicked me to the curve. And my family don't want to even hear me talk about Christ. And I sat in the room and it's like, you know, you know, when you were just like, you're, ex you're excited and somebody just come and just ruin it. That's how I felt. I'm like, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to read God's word. Not that I could have read well either then. I struggle with that reading. Thank God he opened up my understanding right now. I could just flip through encyclopedia right now, read all kind of big words. But then, woo, I couldn't even spell cat. Now, um, that's how bad it was. So, as I sat in the bed, this is where my testimony started. Hold on. As I sat on the bed, all of a sudden, and... The sky start to turn black. It's like, not just the sky, everywhere start to get dark. A lightning came out the sky, hit the transformer in the backyard. And you go, boom, a big explosion. Shut off the lights in the house and 
I exaggerate sometimes, but this ain't no exaggeration right here. This the this the real stuff. This like the Moses kind of stuff right here. Elijah kind of um, things like um, right here. All of a sudden, after that big explosion, all my family, my mom, my sisters, my brother, ran into the room. Please, please. Teach God's word. They were they were frightened. Well, I think I couldn't hardly read though, but I preached the best sermon that night. I mean, they sat there with their eyes open and was just ready to listen. And it's like, hmm. Now, don't expect God to always do things like that. Now, I know I'm a Baptist and I'm um I'm not I, I go to a Southern Baptist church. I, I don't shout too loud. You know, my shout and everything has to be backed up by doctrine and um true biblical teaching. You know, you gotta put everything in perspective, biblical hermeneutics and eschatology and um ecclesiastic, you know, we gotta get that right. You can't preach at a like a Southern Baptist church and your doctrine ain't up to par. You're going to have an issue there. <laughs> They're going to have you escorted from that altar. But I'm telling you, that was a miracle to me. And God felt like how I had such a great passion want to reach my family. And God, maybe it's a weird coincidence. I'm not saying God planned this. Maybe it's a weird coincidence. But coincidence cannot take place without God either. And God worked that miracle. And that's why I know, I know the God that I serve is amazing and is powerful. But even though he's amazing, he's powerful, he transcends this universe, he's omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, God is all powerful. He still come down to my level and love me just the way I am and invest in me so the Holy Spirit may make me more like Christ each and every day. Share, like, subscribe. But if I only have one subscriber, I'm going to go all out for that one. <laughs> Peace out.